What's up, it's Greek Edge Guru here with a self-cocking pistol crossbow. I just got this in the mail a few days ago, I've been playing around with it. And uh, this is literally the best $30 I've spent in a long time. Um, 30 bucks, free shipping on Amazon. Don't look at any other site, they're going to rip you off. Um, I originally bought this on a website, they were selling it for 40 with $15 shipping. So I got 12 extra um, bolts and the bow itself for less than just the price of the bow that they were selling on this other website. So Amazon the, is your best bet if you're interested. Um, it comes with three arrows, not that great, but a 12 pack of metal tip arrows are I think like six dollars, really reasonable. And I had a old crossbow that was a piece of shit. Um, it was a 15 pound crossbow. This is an 80 pound crossbow. Um, and they ran off of these plastic tips, which are surprisingly more durable than the metal ones because when it hits a, a target, it tends to bend and absorb the impact, whereas these just um, warp and, you know, break. So if you're going to buy one of these, you might as well get a set of these plastic ones so that you can have some target practice and you don't have to worry about wasting the more expensive ones. So uh, self-caulking, the way it works, you have this button right here, the little switch, you grab it from the front and you just pull back. So now it automatically goes into safety mode, so if I pull the trigger, I have to press it forward to actually shoot it, but I'm not going to dry fire it. And I'll show you how it shoots. This is going to be my target, which is a pretty thick piece of cardboard. It's 12 sheets, 12 um, pieces thick, and it pierces through this like butter. Um, actually, it'll go through. It will push the target backwards. I'm going to leave a little bit of room so that you, you can see how much recoil it, it takes to the target. And of course I am shooting this uh, point blank so you're going to see a more dramatic effect. When you put the bolt in, make sure you don't go any farther than this arch right here. This bend. Because what will happen is uh, the bowstring will just completely skip the arrow. It makes a real ugly noise and it actually can damage your bow. So first shot, safety off. Alright, so that went completely through and through. Um shoot, I always do this. Completely through. Um I'm gonna have to shoot in a different area because it's starting to get weakened. But that went through and uh, of course into my wall. You can see back there. Damn it. And uh I'll shoot another one. The nice thing about these bolts is this screws off and that gives me a lot of capabilities for different ammunition types. For example, Home Depot. These are 10 30 second screws. I just put some Teflon tape to fill in the extra. That's what it would look like. And I'll just unscrew it for you to show. So it screws in there, nice and snug. This is like a ramming arrow, for, or a blunt tip arrow, just for target practice and whatnot. So I'll shoot one of those just to show you. Other modifications I might do, I'm probably going to do like a repeating crossbow type of mod so I don't have to load them individually. Maybe a better grip so I don't have to hold it from the front. And fire. Okay, so that one didn't go completely through. Didn't expect it to because of the tip. And it's lodged in there, of course. So, I don't know how I'm going to get that out. But, you guys understand how it works. It's better for impact versus penetration. 
And the last one is a flathead screw. Same deal. Thing that I like about this is it gives me a surface to attach a cap or a shotgun primer or something. Something along the lines. It gives me a surface to actually adhere something so I can make a new type of ammo. And this will be a demonstration of that type of arrow. Alright, so I honestly don't know where that shot. I think it was right there. So, yeah, right about there. So, you can tell these don't go in as far as the regular arrow tips. And last, I'll show you the plastic arrow type. If you guys have any other ideas for types of ammo, leave a comment below. That way, when I'm building these, I have your ideas in mind and I can try and give you guys what you want. So, okay. So, same deal, went right through. I mean, I couldn't stab through this if I tried. I could maybe sit here for like five minutes and wiggle my way through all 12 layers, but there's no way I could just pierce right through. Um, so you can tell there's a lot of power. 80, it says 80 pound crossbow on the, on the website. Doesn't say it on the box, so I don't know where they're getting their information from, but it seems pretty accurate. I'll shoot one more just to show you guys because it's fun. <laughs> just because I want to. Oops. There it is again. So it only stopped because. It the arrow tip, the arrow wings are too wide. So you can understand the point. Yeah. So another look. Nice grip. Doesn't feel cheap at all. I mean, it is made in China, but um, everything works the way it should. Usually fr from Chinese items, um, whenever they're casted out of the mold of the metal, you'll see little burrs and things, sharp edges, and everything from what I can tell is really well-rounded. And The only thing I could say is maybe this grip is a little flimsy, but other than that, nice adjustable. It actually adjusts. It's not just for show. This right here will go up and down. And then this will also ex change here from left to right. So, pretty well made product for 30 bucks. So, like I said, post comments below of what you want to see type of ammo types. And also, Check out my Facebook. I check it very often. So, if you guys have any questions, if you want to drop by some ideas or sketches or videos, I'm always happy to see what you guys are up to. And um, if I like it or if it's something I think other people should see, I'll put it on the on the Facebook, and that way you guys can um, showcase your your inventions and gadgets and whatever. So, thanks for watching and have a good one.